50 that 51 of you could make it this morning i think is it's fantastic to have so many of you in one screen i would have preferred to see you face to face but unfortunately the times doesn't allow for that i hope to see you soon um, the minister of education is going to speak today and it will give us some guidance as to whether it's the 1st of June or the 7th or the 15th, whatever the case might be. Uh, we would like, and, and at the school, we actually have to prepare conditions. We've been working very hard for the last week and a half to prepare the conditions for you guys to return and be safe at school. Just to give you a couple of um, pieces of information, you're going to have all your major subjects will be done in the hall. So your English, your life orientation, your mathematics, your um, uh, languages are all going to be done in the hall. And in the case when there is a split between mathematics and mathematical literacy, mathematical literacy will happen in the auditorium. Or when there is a split between Isisulu and Afrikaans, Isisulu will happen in the auditorium because according to the numbers that we have on Adam, it gives us enough uh, space for us to adhere to the social distancing rule. We've worked uh, very hard on a sanitation scheme so that you guys are safe. The rest is going to be from your side. Uh, so we, we have actually have the conditions almost ready for you to return. And we are looking forward to having you. Our main concern, and Mr. Grovier and Ms. van der Merbe can actually attest to this over the last uh, few months, is been with you metrics. Those are our main concerns. But Apart from those concerns that we have about you, and, and I think sometimes you know, my wife tells me that we sometimes worry so much about you uh, that we worry about ourselves. And in a way, it's, it's, it's part of what we do as teachers. So my concern now is that I've been receiving um, reports lately of poor work ethic from metrics. And perhaps, and I'm going to make this very clear, perhaps these 51 or 58 pupils that we have in the group right now are not the ones that are to blame for, for this, okay? But we do have some cases of very poor work ethic in the group. And I would like to emphasize that we at the college are very concerned, more concerned than you yourself perhaps are in some cases for your own studies and for your own future. I know that it's trying to have lessons remotely. I've been already having a lot of trouble myself sometimes adapting to the fact that I'm just talking to a camera rather than talking to a face or talking to a group of people. And sometimes even having to watch what I'm going to be saying because now that I've got you out at home, uh, some things that I might be saying in the classroom, which we will understand as a classroom because it's a joke that we make to ourselves, um, it's not going to be taken in the same context when we do it. So it is very difficult for us also when, and, and the, the level of preparation of our lessons also is huge in comparison to what we'll do in a classroom. In a classroom, we have an idea of what we have. We know the conditions of the classroom. When we are uh, preparing lessons right now for you guys in a remote environment, we actually have to prepare the lessons with a certain level of believing that you guys didn't know or doesn't under, don't understand anything and based on that is that we actually are preparing our lessons and it's taking and and i can tell you this from from meetings that i've had with with our staff at the college that sometimes a lesson that that would take us 15 minutes to prepare for a 45 minute lesson is taking us perhaps three four hours to prepare a lesson for for a for a 20 minute video that we have to to put together for you Having said that, I'm not, this, I'm not denying the fact that many of you, and I thank you to all of those that have written to me and have voiced concerns with regards to lessons being too long, with regards to struggling with the amount of worksheets, etc. Um, I have addressed those in, in the cases where I can. I have brought it to the attention to the teachers and any of those pupils that have written to me and that have had meetings with me, their names have been kept completely confidential. Remember that after all, we are working for you and we want you to actually have the best possible experience. We want you to have all the benefits of the, the, the best learning experience out of this remote learning. And hopefully soon when you come back, we'll be able to do the rest for you. But 
the main reason for this meeting, in my opinion, or Mr. Uh, Mr. Grovier is going to, to talk to that in a, in a moment, is that we are concerned about the work ethic that some of you have shown. And I think that any time of comp any type of complacency at this point in time is going to be lethal in terms of your result and in terms of your future. You are jeopardizing your own future if you're not really taking the opportunity. You have to yourself an, a huge advantage over the previous years. And I know that many people will say, but how can learning from home be an advantage? All the resources that are being created in this in this period of time, all the resources that we have created for you, all these videos, all these worksheets, members, all of those things actually will be available for you to study when you prepare for your metric exams. And in that case, this to me represents a huge advantage that you would not have to, in some cases, need to wait for a teacher to have an ASP. You can go back to those videos. We have created a YouTube channel that contains a huge amount of uh, information that you can tap into and not only for mathematics or for all the subjects i receive i upload about 18 to 20 videos a day the, the youtube channel contains the, the youtube channel that we created contains more than 280 videos already for all subjects and all of this in most cases is or not in most cases all of this is at your disposal for you to use now and when you're preparing for your metric examinations. But I want to make a call, I want to make an appeal to you at this point in time to really, really push on and get on with the work and really help us to make your metric a success. We all want the best for you. We always have had, not just for this year, we've had wanted it for every single year and we work very hard as a staff complement to achieve that, but we need your cooperation. I cannot be at your house to tell you exactly what to do. We can only do as much as we possibly can, and that is send out daily uh, daily planners to help you, to send out weekly planners to help you plan, to help you get ready. But you have to do the work, and you have to communicate with your teachers. All our teachers are online when you are supposed to have a lesson. What I will ask of you is that if you want to get in touch with a teacher, that you drop them an email. And in this group that I'm facing now, there's countless examples of pupils that have dropped me an email, and within minutes, we've gotten together on a meet call, and I have been able to help them in mathematics, and I have been able to help them with some of the queries that they have. So I want you to continue with that proactive approach of contacting your teachers when you need, and to be a, and, and ask questions. And voice concerns if you have any concerns. That's what we're here for. That we've always been here for. Okay, I'm going to pass on to Mr. Grovier and Mrs. Van der Merwe. Uh, Mr. Grovier and Mrs. Van der Merwe, thank you very much for the opportunity. And, you know, and thank you, Matrix, for joining me. I see now we have 60 of you, so it's almost the whole group. I'm really, really proud of you guys. But I want you to please continue learning and continue pushing. This will be over at some stage and we will get through this metric here successfully. I promise you that. Thank you, sir. <clears throat> okay, guys. Um, we need to address a couple of things for when you are going to return to school. And now, obviously, um, if, if the ministers or, or the uh, president changes anything, then obviously what I'm going to say now becomes null and void. If we end up by the 1st of June going back to level five and then delaying us going back to school, then obviously what I say is null and void. But right now, as it stands, you are going to return to school on the 1st of June, okay? You all need to make sure that you're prepared to be back at school for the 1st of June as per normal, okay? Normal time, don't expect that you can start, you can be at school at 8.30 because that's not the case. Um, we need to start normal time. So you need to be back at school normal time on the 1st of June. There will be, as Mr. Ruiz Misa was talking about, th there's going to be a whole lot of procedures that we need to follow in order to get you um, into the school to ensure that you have done all the screening that's required, et cetera, et cetera. So you need to be back at school normal time on the 1st of June, okay? Then, your prelims are going to go ahead. However, we have delayed your prelims 
to start at the beginning of term three. So the very first day of term three is when you are going to start with your prelims. The very first day. Okay? So over the August holiday, you're going to have time then as well to prepare as well as possible for these prelims. So what Mr. Luis Misa was saying about you guys making this work for you, this has actually now just stepped up and uh, been in your favor because you've got that whole holiday to prepare for the prelim. Okay. Then um, no content at this stage. No subject content is being left out of work. So the IEB hasn't said for matrix, um, and I'm going to use business as an example. I know that a lot of you do business. Um, the IEB haven't gone and said, take insurance out of the syllabus. They haven't done that for any subject. Okay, so everything still needs to be, um, to be studied and to be prepared for those prelims and finals. Okay, then onto your uh, uniform, et cetera, et cetera. So we were in, a, in an exec meeting yesterday and Mrs. Meikle says she understands that, that hairdressers are not open. So this is for boys primarily that if your hair is too long and you need to put it into a ponytail, then you may do so, okay? We do want your hair to be neat. Your hair's gotta be neat. Um, and if it's long enough to put into a ponytail, then you need to do that, okay? It still needs to be neat. It still needs to be out of your face. It can't interrupt with your studying at school, etc. But that doesn't excuse you from shaving, all right? You still need to make sure that you are clean shaven when you return to school. Um, you, you, we have allowed for no school uniform for matrix when you return. But now you need, you need to listen carefully. I see all the smiling faces. And so the rules with the, with the uniform is this. You can't wear the same clothes day in and day out. Okay, that's the first thing. Because we don't want to see you wearing the same, uh, I don't know what shirt, it looks like you've got some kind of hoodie on there, Charlie. I uh, don't know what it says on it. But you can't wear that same hoodie every single day. You, you get saying, you've got to wear clean clothes and you need to look respectable every day. Um, the normal civvies rules apply. So it's got to be closed shoes. It's winter. If you want to go with open shoes, I think you're a little bit nuts anyway. But normal civvies. So closed shoes, um, respectable clothing. You can't show midriff, et cetera, et cetera. Um, it, it's the normal civvies rules. Okay. Um, then on those clothing, uh, on the clothing issue, when you're at school, you may, without knowing it, expose yourself to COVID-19. In that instance, when you get home, it is highly advised that you get your kit off, especially if you're living with grandparents or somebody who is sick, who can be susceptible to the virus. Get your clothes off, put it into the wash, climb into the shower before you greet, say hello, touch anything in your house, etc. You've got to make sure that when you enter back into home, that you are causing as or allowing for as little chance of that virus to get into your house because of you. Okay, so you need to take those precautions as well. Um, Mr. Ruiz Misa did say, uh, he put it up onto the, the little thing, uh, chat icon there. Yes, the, the details surrounding all of this will go into a letter that is going to be sent home to you. Okay. Going back to the hair thing, there's, there's one other thing that I left out here. And that is, if your hair is not cut, if your hair has to be in a ponytail, boys, um, et cetera, et cetera, if there is... Uh, you've got to come to school with unacceptable hair as it would normally be. You need to make sure that you've got a letter from your parents saying that there is nobody who is able to cut your hair at home. 
It's as simple as that. Okay. With that letter, you will be excused for your hair, as long as it's neat, etc. Okay. Um, yeah, and, and that's that's about it, really, with with the core issues um, that I needed to address with you. Um, Ma'am, Mr. Ruiz Misa, is there anything else that you want to add? No, um, I don't want to add any information. I just want to say, guys, I'm incredibly proud of you. I think you are doing so well under these circumstances. I know it must be flipping difficult at home. And you have siblings and you have parents on your back, which is worse than teachers most often, you know, more often than not. Um, and I think you're, you're doing really well. I know a lot of you have been working hours and hours more than you would have worked at school. But keep in mind that you are not doing any extra murals now. All right? So all the time you would have been spending on the sports fields and doing chess and debating and first aid and whatever else you would have been doing, you're saving all of that. So take that time, apply it to your studies, be as prepared as you possibly can when you come back to school. All right, keep that in mind. So add all your extra middle time to academics. If you're spending more time now than you would have at school, it, you, you're the only one that will benefit from this. And then I also wanted to say, if, if you're struggling at home and you feel like you are not coping with this, please send us a message. There's nothing wrong with admitting that this is difficult. I've had no. days where I would have willingly given my children up for adoption. I, you know, some days are hectic, all right? And I understand it. So send us a message if you need if you need a chat or a cup of tea or you just want someone to tell you you're going to be all right. We are here for you. Okay, and that is it. I'm out. Sorry, there was there was a, one or, one or two uh, more other things that I wanted to speak about as well. Your your term reports, your matric grade twelve term reports are going to be adjusted um, because term two usually your prelim counts a large chunk of term two. That obviously is going to need to change. Um, so your term two report is going to be weighted differently. Yeah. Term three report is going to be purely your prelim exam. Okay, so that is what you need to prepare for. Right. There, there, there are slight changes. Subject teachers will tell you about your slight changes for, for portfolios. Um, and I spoke to my, my business kids about uh, the, the, the changes regarding portfolio requirements. Um, they're not big. The IB haven't made big changes. Um, but there are some changes across the board. Okay, so you just be aware of that as well. Okay, then there was another question as well from somebody else about masks. Yes, you will be required to, to wear masks. You should have a mask from home because if you leave home, the government says you have to wear a, a cloth mask. So you need to have that cloth mask when you come to school. When you're at school, we have ordered, and uh, I don't know Mr. Rizmis can, can say whether they have or not, um, whether they've arrived for you, so they are giving you masks. Um, so yes, masks are mandatory, okay? It's a, it's a no-go area, you don't remove that mask. If, you, if you're at lunch and you're gonna eat your sandwich, then yes, obviously, okay? We haven't got some kind of ma magical mask for you. Um, you remove the mask to eat, but once you're done, the mask goes back on immediately. Um, we need to make sure that, that everybody is going to be as safe as possible and that uh, we're taking every reasonable precaution to try and keep you guys safe. Okay. Um, I'm just having a look here, ma'am, Mr. Riz Misa, if you can also just uh, assist here, just looking at um, the, the questions along the, the sidebar here. Um, between your finals and your prelims, it's as normal. The IEB haven't changed yeah. any of that. Okay. So you, your portfolio still counts. Your, your portfolio is still going to count for the, for the end of matric um, and your final as it will be for, um, uh, for your subject. Mr. Rizmisa? Okay. Um, with regards to the prelim and the, and the weightings and that, because your prelims are going to be moved to term three, what we've decided to do is that term two would remain as term three was, that short term three where we only had class tests, etc. So the weightings of the two terms will be swapped around. So you used to, your weighting used to be, if I remember correctly, used to be 25 term one, it was 60% term two, 
or no, 30% term one, 60% term two, and 10% term three, we're now going to swap around because your prelims are going to happen in term three. We're going to then make, make that 10% uh, of term three will now be in term two. So term two will count 10%. Uh, and term three, the, which is the term where you have the prelims in, will count 60% for your, for your year mark. Now, remember that this is not your portfolio mark. Now, together with the document that we're going to be sending out today, we will send out also the revised portfolio. Okay, I have already asked the HODs to look at the revision of the portfolios from the IEV and see whether we are on track. And it seems like for most parts, we actually are on track. In some cases, some of the subjects have actually done all the assessments that were required for the portfolio, or they only have one or two assessments obviously excluding the prelim exams, which we cannot um, uh, uh, default because the IEB has not uh, has said that the prelim exams are perhaps the most reliable piece of uh, portfolio base or school based assessment that is required and they will not uh, cut out the prelim exams. So prelim exams are required and that's why we have to we have decided to move it out to give you uh, enough preparation time for it. Okay. Um, Amor has asked a question about his hair being too untidy to do anything. Okay, I have, yeah, I have okay. made note, I have made note of that. I will bring the questions, although as I did say to Amo in the chat group that that's a little bit of a push to, to, to wear something for your hair. Okay, so, but I will ask the question. There's nothing wrong with that. I will also ask the question with regards to the bus so that I can um, come back to you guys, to those who ask the questions and I will, or I'll pass it on to Mr. Grovia and Ms. Van der Merwe and she can, they can both um, relate to you and, and, and pass on the news or the, or the answers to these questions. And then, Lisa, there were also a couple of questions about an assessment calendar. Is that um, a possibility for them? Well, we, we are looking at an assessment calendar as a possibility, but we want the certainty first on on the time of return and then we can put something on on paper at the moment we are not wanting to compromise with an assessment calendar for various reasons number one is we need to find a source of reliable assessment certain subjects have done it and they've done it with a with a level of success but it's not sometimes it's not an option for other subjects so while we are doing remote learning we don't really want to tie ourselves to to an assessment calendar in the case of the matrix, which again is our main concern for the year, once you have returned and we have a date of your return, we will be able to then uh, set out an assessment calendar just to, to spread out the assessments and not to overwhelm you once you come back. Because I'm sure that many of you are concerned that the moment we come back, we're going to bombard you with assessments. I give you my word that it's not going to be like that. We are just going to do exactly what is necessary. Okay, uh, when you return to school as well, guys, um, as I said on the 1st of June, uh, Ms. Fanamarva and myself are the ones that are going to be doing your screening at school. So when you get to school, we are the only ones that are going to be allowed to screen you. Okay, you may not enter down from the bottom of the school. You've got to come through reception. That is a, a non-negotiable at this stage. Okay, so um, we'll have it in the normal place that we always have our, our morning meetings in the hall. Um, there will be social distancing in the hall, et cetera, et cetera. Um, but it's, it's ma'am and myself that are going to be doing the screening for you. So please don't go to another teacher and say, um, I'm going to, can you please do my screening? Because that's not going to happen. Okay, it has to be done at one central location. Okay. All right, anything else? Yes, screening every day. Cops at this point? Um, yes, I have something. So, Mr. Kruvian, I spoke yesterday, and we would like to check in with you guys once a week. So, if you have any suggestions or how you would like it, please can you send that to us? If you want to have a video meet, if you want us to just send you an email, if you want us to record a video, um, please send us some suggestions. All right. And yes, that's it from my side. Good luck, guys. I hope to see you soon in a couple of weeks. Um, keep in touch with us. Let us know how you're doing, okay? Yeah, seeing your faces now, you guys, see, oh, miss you guys big time, eh? Yeah, it's very nice to see all of yeah. you.
now. All right. Okay, guys, you can, uh, yeah, we, we're done. So if you want to log off and uh, go and prep for your first lesson in 10 minutes time, you can do that. Thanks, guys. Okay, thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Bye, bye, bye. Thank you, sir. Thank you, guys. Bye. Thank you. Bye. 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 Nice seeing you, guys. Thank you. Bye, sir. Okay, thank you.